Hey everybody, happy Friday. I hope you've had a wonderful week. I'm, I'm so happy to be here. How has your week been everybody? I am dying to know how um, your week has gone. This week has flown by for us. Piper is on two weeks of holiday from school, although today is the last school day of those two weeks. Back to school on Monday, although I think I probably need to do a full weekend's worth of laundry. As hey ho! <laughs> we have got Amanda on the stream so far. Hey Amanda! And Candy's here, but says, I'll be watching from my new job, so I won't be chatting much. Shh! I got you, boo. I understand. <laughs> Stellar Crafts by Pam is here as well. Hello, hello, hello. Um, I have got something to show you. Let me flip over. Do look at these beauties. So last week, might have even been Monday. I can't remember. Um, I got a delivery of some Catherine Pooler inks. And they have recently released a collection. I didn't actually have Beach Retreat and I didn't have the Spa collection, I think it is. So um, the other thing is that um, I said to Erica and Catherine, oh, I really need labels. I've been labeling, I've been on a, a right organization binge and I have been labeling my like distress inks and things can you see da, 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 so pretty and um they they are all looking absolutely gorgeous but then the Catherine Pooler I didn't have any labels for so I said to Catherine do you guys have labels I actually saw them on her live and I was like I see you have labels I want them so she sent me some stickers to go onto my Catherine Pooler inks which I'm very excited about but the stickers came in little sheets like this and I thought oh well that is actually a beautiful kind of swatch so before we cut apart the stickers I actually um, got Natalie to photocopy them onto some card so that I could make this little swatch book. Now I have to say that the color here is not quite the same as the color in real life. So I'll give you an example if I can find it. It'll be the last one probably. Party dress. So this is party dress here and that's what it should have been if it was colored. So it's definitely a more muted color on my swatch than this. Um, so I might go ahead and create swatches using the actual ink, but for a time saver, time saver I thought I would use this for now. I think that will, will do for now. Um, and it does mean that we have got some new cap and pooler inks in the shop. Um, snap them up while we have them here. Now we only stock the littles, the little minis, um, but if I hadn't already started my collection in bigs, I probably would just use the minis because they're a lot easier to store, etc. Um, and we have got the black, um, which is called Midnight. And we've also got one of the browns. I feel like it might be over coffee um, in the shop. So snap them up if you so wish at the Heffy Doodle store. Yes, congratulations on your new job, Candy. Are you? What was, I, can't, I think you told us the last time what you were doing, but you need to remind me. My brain's gone poof tonight. Uh, it says, thanks, I can watch what I want, so why not crafty videos as long as I do my work? Yay, that's good. I'm happy for you. All right, so I decided that tonight I'm going to make a card for my neighbor who um, is having a bit of a get together tomorrow. And um, it is a gentleman, his name's Jamie. And so I'm going to create a card for Jamie for his little get together birthday party. And I wanted to use some of my new Catherine Puller inks. So I think I might pull out the Lux collection here and um, play with these, which I think is one of the most recent collections to go live. I really need to get myself a smaller um, book clip, but hey ho. Oh, let's see what we've got. Let's take a look at these. We've got Cranberry Fizz, Flame, Glitz, 
martini, deck the halls, uptown, dress blues, and glam. I think these colors all look amazing. Hey, Becky and Carl's here, hello. Um, so I thought I was going to use this as a little bit of a jumping off point to create a card for Jamie. And what is immediately jumping out of me are these three colors because they are very, very similar to um, some Heffy Doodle cardstock colors. So I think I'm gonna go, go ahead and grab those first and foremost. So we have got Kiwi Crush, which is similar to the Martini. We have got Merlot, which is similar to Cranberry Fizz. And then no surprise, my most, most favorite, um, sunny side up which is similar to the glitz hair so I'm thinking I'm going to um, attempt to make a card with these colors on them I might bring in another color and I'm thinking uptown actually looks really good I'll pop these to the side for just now and I might come back to them who knows <laughs> Amanda says I don't have a new job but I do have a new rock Yay! Tell us all about your rabbit, Amanda. I want to know. I want to know about your rabbit. How did this new edition come to be? I still love the um, story of how um, our, your one of your rabbits just like helped, like just came into your room one day, came into your craft room one day, and then you were like, I'm keeping it. Little bunny boo. All right. So I have pulled out my scalloped imperial frames, and I think I'm going to use this as the basis of my card for Jamie. And I'm also going to use the Build a Cabin dies. Uh, Stella Craft says, that's fun too. I have two Netherland dwarves myself. Ooh, cool. Little baby bunnies. Um, so the reason that I'm build building out the Build a Cabin die is that Jamie is the owner of Rangers BFF, the big Labradoodle um, Fergus. Fergus. I can't really say his name very loud because there'll be uh, much, mucho de excitemento. Um, so I thought that I would add a little Fergus to my card here um, down at the bottom. So I thought I'd do a build a cabin and create a little dog house for my card today. And we'll give it a roof like so and we'll give it a door and of course we'll put a little bone on it so that we know that it is indeed a dog house and i think you need some grass at the bottom so let me go and grab my grassy last border dies Ooh, actually, just pulled out my big grass shadow and I have some grass here already. So I might just use that and cheat. Why not? Why not indeed? All right, so let's see what we can do. I'm going to... Oh, actually, I know why not, because I want to use my Kiwi Crush, so I'm going to put this back. That was me trying to cheat. Trying to cut corners, but forgetting that I actually had somewhat of a plan. Okay. We'll make it work. Uh, Amanda says her name is Honey. She is number four. The big two never really welcomed Ash, number three, and he needed a little friend, so we took him to meet her, and they like each other. Oh, that's nice. I'm glad that Ash has a little friend now. It's a bit sad that they didn't really want to play with him. 
right, so we're going to have this here. And maybe we'll have this as my background. Because after all, it's a manly color. Not that colors are actually manly. Let's not gender cardstock, shall we? Let's cut this down. Um, two of our buns, three and four, are Lionhead Dwarf mixes, and the two big, the big two are a Desert Cottontail and a Lionhead. Oh, that's cool. When Craig worked for a computer game company in Guildford, it was called Lionhead Studios, and uh, a friend of ours had a Lionhead bunny. Very uniquely named Bunny. <laughs> All right. Oopsies. So here I have the bases of my um, front panel little. A little uh, frame for that to go on and that's my scalloped imperial frames now let me go get a card blank so that we can start building these all up together this week we have been um, drawing stuff for our next release. Looks like that's going to land in about January time, hopefully. So we're all excited about that. We're getting there. I, whenever I start drawing things for the for the release, I always feel like it's a million miles away. <laughs> like it's never going to happen. And then slowly but surely we get there. All right, so I'm going to do a little panel down here with my grass. I think I might just go straight across actually and trim this down. Has anyone else been crafting this week? Anything exciting to report? And of course it's getting close to Christmas time. So does anyone have anything on their Christmas list? Crafty wise? We've already started to get the um, the questions from the uh, family. What does everybody want for Christmas? Here we go. So this is the little piece that um, came out from the middle and I'm just going to use this as a bit of a guide to trim down this panel. It's not need to be exact. I just want to make sure it hides behind this panel here. Like there. Love it. Stellar Crafts by Pam says made some fall cards and sent out Halloween cards. Dun, dun, dun. And Amanda says Christmas. I'm just trying to get through next week. I know. I'm all excited about um, Halloween though. So last week, I'm sorry I wasn't able to, to stream. It was a little bit of a, um, was a little bit of a um, situation here <laughs> where Piper was struggling a little bit. So I had to just take some time to be with my girl. 
as is required every now and again. And at the weekend, we um, all went into town. We had some lunch together. What happened there? And um, we also went shopping for things for our Halloween costumes. So I'm really excited for our costumes. I think they're going to be super fun. I'm, I can't remember if I told you, so I'll just tell you again. <laughs> we have um, Piper is going to be Little Red Riding Hood and I'm going to be Granny. <laughs> Um, and we bought a wolf mask for, um, well, originally we, it was going to be for Craig, but actually when we thought about it, we thought actually Ranger should be the wolf. And then, um, so we bought a mask and we cut out the front of the mask so that um, it actually will fit over his head. Uh, so we also have his normal super cute face but he'll have like wolf ears on the mask and this sort of gray fur coming down. That's going to be so fun. Um, and then Craig's going to be a woodcutter. So last week we went off on a mission to every charity shop there is trying to find items to help us with our costumes. Piper already has a cape, which is kind of where the whole idea um, started from. She has got a red cape with a hood in her dressing up box. And so um, we, I said, oh yeah, we should do that. Uh, so we, we ran with it from there. But of course, then I also needed to have a, um, like a granny's outfit. And I thought ideally, if I could find some sort of like nightgown or something to that effect that I could make really granny-ish, that would be funny. Um, and having, I just feel like we went everywhere. I was also looking to see if I could find like a super ugly dress. <laughs> went into the charity shops and nobody, nobody had anything that was of use, sadly. There was one lady in the charity shop that was like, oh, we've got a nightgown and it's like a proper granny nightgown. I was like, yes, that's the one. She ran off and then came back and said, it was sold this morning. <gasps> Couldn't believe it. We did manage to find a wicker basket with a handle, like a loop handle, like a proper you know, the ones that she would carry here. Um, and, um, oh, I need to pick up a red gingham, like a red gingham tea towel, I think, to go on it. That would be good fun. And, um, yeah, it took us, it took us ages, took us all day, but it's going to be so good. Cannot wait. Pan says, I'm hoping to get a scan and cut uh, or a photo box. What's a photo box? Oh, I know what a photo box is. Yeah, so a photo box is those with, with the, the lights in like a white area. Like a right, white kind of box of lights. I know what that is. Very good. Make sure you get one that's big enough. Um, I bought a photo box once on... Um, I think I just got it off Amazon, but when it came, it was like this big, and you couldn't you couldn't even get the whole card in there. So make sure that you uh, check the sizing. So um, I have gone ahead and die cut this uh, build a cabin die. And I wanted it, I wanted to bring in some of these colors from the uh, CP inks. So I just swiped this onto my white cardstock to create this little doggy um, kennel in the uptown color. Looks awesome. And oh, look at this. Fortuitous. Ooh, I could have a black one or I could have. 
one like this. Hmm. Hi, Craigie. Mm -hmm. um, I think okay, but you can maybe make the, do the trick that you mentioned. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Zero drop frames. That's good. I think I'll go ahead and add a little black frame to this. I'm making a card for Jamie for tomorrow. And of course, I'm going to have the Floofmeister on it. Although, of course, I've just realized he's got two cats, so maybe I'll need to put that on it as well. That, I mean, those kitty cats. Off them. Let's see here. This and this. Do we have any bonios already pre cut? Mm. Let's cut a little bonio. Amanda says, Ooh, a scanner cut would be nice. I love mine. Yes, I actually was thinking about getting my scanner cut out recently as well. Amanda says, try Amazon. I know it sounds silly, but I bought a few for costumes a few years ago. They're about £25 each. $25 each. Are you talking about um, um, like a granny outfit? Is that what you mean? Because actually, um, I went into a clothes shop and I, I went in looking for like red gingham tea towels so we could put it on the basket. And when I went in, I thought, oh gosh, that dress over there is actually, it's in the, um, it was in the section, uh, I guess it's like you, you have the like sports section and you have the um, kids section and the women's section. But anyway, in the ladies section, there was um, like a designer area and the, there was some dresses hanging. I was like, those dresses are actually pretty shapeless and not very appealing at all. And I thought, well, if all else fails. And then I went up and I was like, I'm not paying that for a dress I'm going to wear one time. And then at the back of the shop, I noticed that there was a whole section of clearance. And I went up and I picked out this like green floral dress. Um, and uh, I was like, that is quite not nice in my opinion. <laughs> And then I thought to myself, this would be great, but it was so it was so small. Um, and then I found it in like the biggest size. So um, I think we're gonna like pad me out with some pillows. It's gonna be a cold night after all. So we'll get some pillows up in there and I'll be all frumpy. And I got some like mink colored tights and a pair of slippers. I'm gonna be the best granny ever. I cannot wait. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> All right. So we have our dog kennel and we have um, our grass. And I'm actually thinking I might put a panel this kind of color behind to make it pop some more. That will be fun, I think. Let's pop this. I'm going to just go for it. Amanda says, oh, I missed that party, so I'm glad you find one. <laughs> yeah, I, oh, it's going to be so much fun. I came home. I'd already bought a grey wig from, like, the pound store. Um, and we already had big, big glasses. We got a head scar and we've got Craig this little like tartan hat to go on his head. I think it's going to be hilarious. It'll be so much fun. Yay! It doesn't look good, but I do want my panel behind to be white. So let's get my piece of white card over here and we'll trim this die. Okay, 
And this is going to go like so, and I'm not going to stick it down yet because I'm going to want to ink it up. And in fact, I might ink it with the balloon room stencil. And then this is going to go on like so. We shall see. We'll see how it all pans out. Then I have my dog kennel, maybe in front, maybe behind. So far undecided. I've got my, my martini and my cranberry fizz and my glitz colors happening here. Loving them all. I think I might bring the martini in and actually add some of that color to my grass. But before I go any further, I'm going to stamp my little Bluffmeister, which is the code name for the, uh, the doggy in question. If I can find me some cardstock. Here it is. In fact, one of the ladies in the charity shops we went into said to us, please, 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 she begged us and said, um, please take some photos um, when you're all dressed up and send some to us so we can share on our Facebook page. This was the people who um, found the, the basket. It's gonna be so much fun. Of course, we are going to have the dilemma where, um, we're all going to want to go out and walk around the town, well, walk around the, the area here and knock on doors. But then there'll be no one here to give out candy if you will come knocking here. So I wanted to ask you guys, how do you deal with that? Do you just leave someone at home or what do you guys suggest? I'd love to, to hear suggestions. And I'm contemplating adding a Nina and a Harvey to this card, which are the two little kitty cats that live next door. So the question is, where are they going to be? We can maybe put one here. That would be cute. And maybe just one off in the distance, like so. That would work, I think. Let's put proof my. Turn it on. Let me go throw that out. All right, let's grab my memento. And ink this up. Oh, in one of our um, um, stories, maybe Instagram stories, something like that, somebody said, um, oh, you guys need to get a, Is it called a stampin' bug? Have you guys heard of this thing yet? From what I believe, from what I understand, it is a, a device, an implement that um, you can rub onto the top of your um, Misty to make a nice even impression. I was curious to know if any of you guys have one or have heard of them, heard any um, any feedback about them. Amanda says in regards to Halloween, 
we just set out a bowl on the planter by the front door with candy in it. We post a sign that says, be back soon, help yourself, with an arrow pointing towards the bowl. Yes, we were thinking of that. Um, a chucky tool. What's a chucky tool? What does that mean? If that doesn't work, just turn off the porch light. You can put up a sign letting them know that you're out gathering more candy. It's cute. Oh, the presser. There's a number of names for a chucky tool. I have one and it's awesome, says Amanda. Oh, a chucky tool. Interesting. I'll have to look that up. Um, I did see some, but do you know what they look like? Um, there is a brand of coffee over here in England and, and in the UK called Dowag I don't know if you guys have it. And it comes in like a glass jar with a, a glass lid on it. And the shape of the the lid kind of fits perfectly in your hand. Um, and the ones that we saw looked like a Dowag Bird's lid of the jar with a bit of felt on the bottom. <laughs> Honestly, it did. And I was like, oh, okay, that's a bit unusual. It looks like, looks like it's going to smell of coffee. <laughs> Got a chucky tool. Uh, an air hockey paddle works great too. Yes, that's exactly the kind of thing it reminds me of, for sure. That's, that's exactly what it's like, I think. Okay. I'm going to color in Hoofmeister, and he is very white, so I'm going to go easy on the color. I've started off with a little C1, and then I'm coming in with um, E50, which is a bit more of a creamier color. Which I think will work well for him. Cuteness. Amanda says, the one I have was sent to me by Trudy Newman. She doesn't sell them, but she told me she makes them. It's a two inch wooden ball glued to a two and a half inch wooden disc with a felt furniture pad on the bottom. So a two inch wooden ball glued to a wooden disc with a furniture pad. Yeah, perfect. Yes, I think that, that um, you're, it would be incredibly easy to fashion one. So cute. I'm gonna go ahead and do the extra little bit. He's got a very big booper, is our is our friend Fergus. Alright. So the other two cats that live um with Jamie and Sarah is Nina and Harvey. And Nina is I think a seal point. I've never actually seen her. So I'm going to attempt to replicate a kitty cat that I've never seen. We'll give her a go. I do know that she is a um, what's the big, big fluffy ones called? The name has escaped me. Craig's mummy has one. Oh, the name has completely escaped me. I'm not sure what it is. Where's my W3? Three. Here you are. What do you call the big, big, like fluffy cats? Need lots of grooming. Oh, I can't think. It's gonna bug me. It's gonna bug me now. A 
Peggy's here. Hey, Peggy. And Jazza must be here as well. Hey, Jazz. Jazza will be seeing my new Catherine Pooler inks and getting jealous. <laughs> Persian. Yes, maybe it is a Persian. That sounds about right. Um, and then Harvey is a tiger, which is like a Bengal kind of kitty cat. So we will give Harvey some stripes. And maybe even make his coloring a little more gingery in some areas. I think I'll keep his his um, booper white. I'm not actually quite sure. That's the challenge of having a child that has allergies. You don't get to see kitty cats anymore. Always locked away. No, it's not a Siamese, definitely not a Siamese. I think Persian is probably the... Craig, what's the type of cat that your mum has? Radio silence, you can't figure it out either. All right. Let's give this little kitty. He looks more gingery now, which is not quite right. I'll darken up with a little gray. He's super cute though. I love him, he's so cute. All right, so now I have the Buchmeister. And two cute kitties. I don't think I'm going to f give Buchmeister a um, A little cheek, a rosy cheek. All right, but I am going to color in my little bonio, all present. And I'll bring in some of the colors that I'm already using for this. Is it a Siamese? No, I don't think it is a Siamese. I think it might be a Persian. Is it a Persian? I'm gonna have to message him on there. All right, let's cut these out. Craig's message his mum now, so it'll come in and I'll go, oh yeah, I feel like it could be Persian, but it still doesn't feel right. Does it feel right to you? No. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't think it is a Siamese. 
I always think of some, the Siamese uh, out of, is it Lady and the Tramp? Or then it's like, we are Siamese. And they're short haired ones. And they do have sort of the seal point markings. So look up Persian. Persian. Oh no, this moved a little bit. Hopefully not too much. I'll be fine. Uh, Peggy says, yeah, that's the evil ones from Lady and the Tramp. Yeah, we don't like them. I bet you seals of Siamese uh, went down after that movie. <laughs> I also, um, Cheater, managed to pick up some, um, like, pastry shells at the, uh, a few days ago. So tomorrow I'm thinking I might go ahead and make some pumpkin pie. Nom, 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 nom. Yep, yep, yep. I've got two shells because they're quite shallow and um, a lot of the uh, recipes for pumpkin pie is actually for like a deeper pie which I would prefer but I'm not really in the mood to make a short custard pastry tomorrow I'm in the mood to cut corners um but I got two pie shells with the thought that if I made two I could bring one to Jamie's party and then keep one and eat it all for myself you know Priorities. So here we go. We've got a dog house. We have Nina up top. Like so. Harvey at the back. Or well, we could have Harvey here. Um but I think our Harvey will look better over here. Oops, Harvey got running away. And then we'll have Fergus here. So cute. And a little bone. Um, and we definitely need a happy birthday sentiment. Um, and then I was thinking of doing maybe balloons or something to that effect um, at the back to um, kind of bring in that birthday theme. So um, Morgan made a card the other day using the balloon rune stencil. And it looked absolutely phenomenal. And I was like, ooh. That's so pretty. Um, <laughs> oh, wait, Persians have very flat faces and are very fluffy. No, I don't think he has a flat. I know what you mean now that it's like flat, but I don't think it is a flat faced one. So we'll see. Um, Amanda says, lol, that's what I would do. Do you mean put the cat here or do you mean create a more birthday kind of themed? The other thing is I could use the um, stitched balloon dies, which would be kind of cute, I think. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. Let me go grab them. You know, I think the stitched balloons haven't been used in a little while. They are so fun. So I think I might use them. If I can find them. Here we go. Stitched balloons and dies. Roberta says, cats are so evil, yet adorable. <laughs> yeah. I feel ya. So we could have some balloons here. Create a little cluster of balloons. Mm -mm -mm. Rag doll. That is exactly what it is. It's a rag doll, isn't it? It's definitely a rag doll. Um, now that I'm seeing this here, I'm thinking I might go for balloon room stencil. Yeah. Change in my mind. 
Yeah, happens. So, I feel like I want to bring in some more, um, like a different tone that's going to go with all of these colors. So, I'm thinking maybe something a bit like the flame color. Let's see if we can have a look through here. What else could jump out at us? Um, the shea butter is quite yellowy orangey. Samba would work quite good too, although it's quite red. Mandarin spice is a good proper orange also. Um, the orange twist. Let's see what we can do. Amanda, it's going to snow. I clean my craft table. <laughs> oh. Says uh, Roberta. Okay, let's pull out some orange. So underneath peppermint scrub, I've got mandarin spice. Let's go ahead and pull that out and see what I can see if I can use some of this. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. It's no biggie. This might not be the best cardstock for it, but we shall see. Nice. So that's mandarin spice, and I think I'll come in with a little flame at the top. Ooh. And maybe if I can bring over my yellows, I'll bring some glitz up from the bottom. I love it. Oh, I've got a smudge here, so we'll have to come back in and do one up here. But that's okay, because I was probably going to do that anyhow. So let's move this up. And this time I'm going to start with my yellow, so I'm not doing a lot of transference. Then some mandarin spice. And then some flame. This top corner. Beautiful. Let's tidy up for a second. Peggy says they come in many colors. I think the rag doll. Mm -hmm. Because mum's um, friend has the brother of what she has and um, mum's is seal point like this, but the, the brother is like a much darker, deeper color. Let's see how this is all coming together. Nice. I think we'll add another balloon that's overlapping slightly. Maybe like here. Oh no, moved the wrong one, silly me. Oh no. That's okay, it'll come off. I can always 
can run under the sink. <gasps> it's okay. It's okay. Everyone, tell me it's okay. Tell me it's okay. <laughs> Totally trying to convince me it's okay rather than convincing you it's okay. <laughs> Roberta says, I lost my card thump off. Thank goodness I took a photo of it. And Peggy says, These inks uh, look so pretty and I've never used them before. Oh, you've never used the Catherine Peter inks? Oh, they're so beautiful. I am a massive big fan. So note to self though, mask the areas that you don't want ink to go through. That's called being lazy, Leslie. Let me go grab my green and bring in some martini. Might have found a martini I actually like. Oh yeah. And the great thing about these inks is that they actually do um, react with water similarly to distress inks. So that is a massive plus point in my opinion. And in fact, I think I shall demonstrate with my green. Because I do like to add a little bit of bow texture with the distress technique. Peggy says, do they blend these? Like, yeah, they do actually. And do you know what my most favorite thing is about um, the Catherine Pooner inks? Is that if you have a solid image, and I'll show you because I'll probably use the um, bull banner stamps. So the bull banner stamps is like a solid image like this with the the white area the, the the sentiment is like the white area and um, with a lot of inks it kind of depends like the, the ink that you use will determine how good a result that you get but the Catherine Pooler inks you will get an absolutely beautiful result every time and so it's got to the point where if I am um, planning on um, stamping like a sentiment in a color or anything like that, I always reach for my Cath and Pooter inks because it's one and done. You're I'm not gonna have to mess around with um, like double stamping or anything like that. So good. I definitely recommend them. Lot. All right, let's put my stencil away. All right, it's going to go on here, like a so, and this is going to go on here, like a so. And I'm going to have a kitty up top. Ragdoll! Mum just said ragdoll. We were right, yay! Who was it that said ragdoll? Pam. Pam, you're the winner. <laughs> and then we've got Fergus down here. With the Bonio. And why don't I go ahead and stamp a happy birthday using the big bold bold banner sentiments so we have a happy birthday here
l'accent. What I will tell you, however, is that they are incredibly juicy. So you do not need um, to, like, you do not need to press very hard at all. They call it a love tap or something like that, or a kiss. It literally is like the tiniest little kiss. Now these ink pads are brand new, so they are loaded. Um, so we'll need to be even more especially careful. And see when we were talking about the, I've already forgotten what you guys called it, that sort of stamp bug thing whenever you're pressing. Kind of not going to need to press with this. It's more of a gentle uh, little stroke. Um, and what you'll find is not only will it be perfect, but it'll actually sink in. So give it some time. Um, you may have noticed that when I inked up the cardstock for my um, the the little dog cabin the dog 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 kennel kennel um is that when you first do it it looks a little splotcheroo and you go ah oh, that's a shame and then after about three or four minutes when you look back at it you go ah oh, yes, that's exactly what i want so i'm going to leave this to just marinade for a little minute before i cut it out Meanwhile, we'll stick all of these on. Roberta says, for stamping with cafe puller inks, you must have a light hand as the pad is foam instead of felt. And Pam agrees, yes, a light hand or it may smudge. Roberta is helping me out with my words, a dog house. Yes, a dog house or a kennel. That makes more sense. Sometimes the words just don't come. Now, part of the question I'm asking myself is, do I want to add like a little string down for these guys? Not sure if I do. I think it might be cute. But I think it might, it might, um, overwhelm the situation what do you guys think let me know what you think while i cut out my bold banner sentiment maybe a light gray would be fine The other thing that I really like about the Catherine Puller inks is that you can stamp a sentiment using the ink, but then you can swipe across to create a colored piece of cardstock like for the dog house, and then they match perfectly. So I'm a big fan of that. Absolutely a big fan of that. Peggy says, maybe a black jelly roll for the strings. Ooh, I have a black, I have a gold and I have a silver. Do you know what? Let's go for the silver jelly roll. Although I got in trouble the other day because I gave Piper one saying it was clear and it turned out to be the silver. As long as it's not gonna come across too glitzy. I don't think it will. I think it would be fine. Oh, that's a good shout, Pegs. Hmm. 
don't think that one will really care much. That will work. I do be tanking. All right. Stick these on. So exciting. Peggy says they seem to dry over time. I had to chuck my gold the other day. I know it's so sad when that happens. So let's stick this guy down. I knew I had a glue dot lurking on my craft desk, so we'll go ahead and use him. Mm. Maybe put a little bit under his head. Make sure he doesn't fall off the doghouse. This little guy's going to go down here. So. And then I think Floofmeister and the Sentiment will go up on some foam tape. I managed to bring in a big new roll of tape for um, my, both my 12 and my 5 mil. And this one... This is the, the, what, my remnants of my 12 mil. I'm just trying to see if it's going to fit. It's going to be tight, but I think we can make it. I need to overhang this slightly. Oh, it's going wonky woo. Here we go. And add this one here. To the doggo. In fact, I'm going to put a wee bit behind his tail because. I don't want it to fall off or get damaged. There we go. I think that's that done. I'm going to add some little details. I've got a black jelly roll here. That has a dry nib. It's actually a glaze pen, which um, creates like a little dot that is um, raised and shiny. And I love to do it for the eyes because I think it makes the eyes look more 
Interesting. It makes them like glossy, so it kind of looks like they're actually like they pop a bit more. They're good for noses too, but Fergus has got a a, a brown nose, not a black one. So we're gonna go with that. All right. That was quick. Here we have the finished card. Happy birthday. We've got our balloon rim stencil. Little doggo. Kitty cats. Build a cabin. And the um, imperial, scalped imperial frames makes this really, really easy. So good. Peggy says, super cute, Leslie. And Roberta says, love the colors of the balloons. Adorable card. Yay! All right. So good. I'm going to call it there for tonight, you guys. I'm so glad that you um, were able to join me. And I hope that you will join me again next week. Um, I will um, go and enjoy the rest of my evening. And thank you so much for joining me for tonight's card. I hope you have a great weekend um, and um, I can't wait to see you guys all next week. Have a great one. Bye.